there, this is John from ActiveGeo.com. We're taking you through a review of the Logitech Slim Folio Pro keyboard case. The keyboard offers all around protection for your iPad. It includes a backlit keyboard that is connected by Bluetooth, multiple viewing angles, and Apple Pencil charging support. Continue to watch this video to learn the good and the bad of the Logitech Slim Folio Pro. Thanks for watching Active JR. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. And also don't forget to subscribe as there's plenty of other videos coming out soon. Also, if you're thinking about buying one of these, check out the links in the description below as they help Active JR to continue to make these videos. Thanks very much. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so starting with the unboxing, it's a pretty simple affair with Logitech. And this is one of the things that I do like where within the box, you get the Folio Pro and you also get the intro manual along with all the safety and regularity stuff. Uh, the keyboard case itself is wrapped in this polythene uh, wrapper and that is it, that's all you get. Installing the iPad in the Slim Folio Pro is, if I'm being honest, a fiddly affair. It does take a little bit of getting in for the first time, but once you've got the hang of it, I think in short, it's not the type of keyboard case you want to be taking the iPad Pro too often out of. It's certainly designed to stay and live in this keyboard folio. As the name suggests, it's a folio style case, so it wraps all the way around the iPad, providing all protection all the way around. If you're a previous owner of a Logitech case like I am, you'll know that the previous cases are made mainly of plastic, which uh, taking it in and out would certainly break the case over time. However, Logitech have changed the materials that are used and they're using silicon for the case now, particularly around the corners where the previous cases were prone to cracking. Uh, but Logitech have still given you access to the USB-C port, the speakers, the camera, and all of the other things that you need to have access to. There's also a cutout so you can charge your Apple Pencil while you're still using the case. And also there's a latch that goes over to secure the folio uh, together. It also acts as an older for the Apple Pencil. This case doesn't use Apple's smart connector. Instead, it uses Bluetooth. But when it's docked on this magnetic strip, it activates the keyboard. And I'll cover this more later in the review. The Logitech case has a built-in battery, and this is charged via a USB-C charger, which is on the side of the device. Whilst you don't get a USB-C charger in the box, which is a real shame, you can use the charging cable that comes with the iPad Pro and charge it whilst you're using both devices together. So you never really should run out of charge. Now the company say it will last up to three months on a single charge. Now I've only had the device for one month and while I've been using it, I've not had to charge it yet. On the top right of the keyboard, there is a battery indicator. Whilst this indicates if you need to charge, it would have been great for Logitech to include it in the battery widget on the iPad. Now moving on to the keyboard, as I've already mentioned, it doesn't use Apple's smart connectivity, but does this make any difference? No, it doesn't. And this is because the keyboard uses Bluetooth SC. So when you dock the iPad onto the magnetic strip, instantly turns on the keyboard and you can start typing and using it straight away. The other good thing, when you remove it from that magnetic strip, the keyboard is also deactivated, which saves battery life. Also, it stops you from inadvertently pressing those keys when you've got it in the reading mode. So in terms of keyboard performance, when you're actually using it, the keys have a lot of travel and they're evenly spaced apart. I found uh, typing with the Folio keyboard really good and it was really enjoyable. It was similar to a laptop experience. So much so, I actually wrote the written version of this review right on this keyboard. The other added bonus of this keyboard, it's got backlift keys. If you are using it in a darker environment, you can certainly see where you're typing. This can be adjusted using the function keys at the top and there's two different brightness levels. On the top of the keyboard, there is also some function keys. Now, as I've already said, these control the brightness, but they also control other functions. You've also got a home button. You've also got the ability to activate iPad search interface along with deactivating the on-screen keyboard. You also can control the volume up and down of the iPad and you can also control the media playback. You've also got the ability to turn off the display, access the home screen and activate Bluetooth. Now, when I'm looking at a folio case, I also want it to be stable when I'm typing on it. And obviously it is stable when I'm using it on a desk. But I'm also happy to report it is also stable when I'm using it on my lap. I recently did an overseas trip and I was using it on the plane. I was able to type without a particular issue. And this is down to the fact it's got a stable surface underneath the keyboard and a ruddy structure of the Slim Folio Pro. 
Uh, now looking at the viewing angles, Logitech say there's three viewing angles. There's actually in fact four. The first two are uh, typically typing viewing angles. The first one is more traditional laptop one, and the other one is more of upright. Now you achieve the upright one by simply moving over this lip in order to uh, create this angle. Now I use this for watching Netflix when it was on the bedside table, and I found it really useful for that. The third mode is sketch mode, and this is when you're working with the Apple Pencil, or you've got it rested on a surface. Now I did find it slightly wobble from side to side. Find Finally, there is the reading mode. Now you achieve this by orientating the keyboard behind the screen. Now I did find for longer periods of time, this got tiresome and I wanted to take it out of the case. So you're not gonna be wanting to use this very often. Okay, so I've talked about a lot of the good stuff with this keyboard folio case. Now I just wanna to touch on some of the things that are not so great. Whilst it's welcome that Logitech have used silicon for the case materials and it provides that better protection without worrying about cracking the case, that you do find it a little bit harder to get the case in and out with this new design. And also the volume up, volume down and power button are a little fiddly to operate because the material is a little bit stiff. And now the elephant in the room that probably everyone's thinking, the Slim Folio Pro doesn't really live up to its name. It's not exactly slim. It weighs a lot more than the iPad and adds a lot of bulk. So if you're someone that wants a minimalistic or a lightweight device, this is probably not for you because it's gonna be adding that extra weight and that extra bulk to your iPad. So in summary to this review, it's a great alternative to the Apple Folio keyboard. Plus it's a lot cheaper. I think it's the best typing experience of any keyboard that I've used with the iPad, but it's major downside is the bulkiness and the usability to be able to get in and out of the case. But the big plus side for this is the keyboard. The keyboard is really good. The travel of the keys is really nice and it's a pleasure to type on this. Bonus of having backlit keys for when you're in a darker environment is really useful. And also the function keys. I think these really add to the overall experience of using this case. So if you're someone that's looking for a great typing experience and a lot of protection for your iPad Pro, this is a great choice. But guys, thanks very much for watching this video. If you've liked it, please give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And finally, if you are thinking about buying one of these, check out the links in the description below as it helps this channel to continue to make these videos. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.